Hey Hope fam, we are so excited to be jumping into a four part series, Be Woke. Although an incorrect sense of awake, woke is a reference to how people should be aware. Be more conscious, be sharp, be the best version of themselves. To reach the next level of leadership, to live with purpose. To be woke means to be alive. In order for us to be woke, there are four parts we need to win at. Today, we're gonna to focus on part one. Treat yourself, mastering your life. As we hit the new year, we go about creating tons of resolutions. And by the next year, we come to realize that we never got close to accomplishing any of them. More like by the end of the month, we just kind of give up. Today, we want to give you three practical points that will allow you to treat yourself by mastering your life. Point number one, choose three areas to focus on. If you were to win at three areas in your life to make you a better person, to make you a better leader, what would these areas be? Think about it. For us, we have three goals that we share. Number one, to get in shape. Hey, say what kind of shape? <laughs> number two, personal development. And number three, spend intentional time with family. I recently read the story of Eugene, a man that was diagnosed with terminal cancer and only had three months left. In these three months, he decided to have intentional, uninterrupted time with his family, closest friends, and to live each moment in purpose. This is what he had to say. I experienced more powerful moments and perfect days in two weeks than I had in the last five years, or that I probably would have in the next five years, the way my life was going. Look at your calendar. Do you see perfect days ahead? I felt like I was living a week and a day, a month and a week, and a year and a month. Be real with yourself. Winning at three areas of your life is so much better than failing at 30. Take three wisely and write them down. Point number two, schedule the three areas. We all have 24 hours each day. No one has more, no one has less. The difference between each of us is how we live out those 24 hours. Let's give this a try. Out of your 24 hours, let's say that you sleep for six, go to school for eight, spend two hours on extracurriculars, two hours on social media and Netflix, two hours on eating, and four hours, based on what researchers say, on homework. You have literally just spent your entire 24 hours. Need to work? You might need to make some adjustments. How about hanging out with friends? Well, might just want to do that in school. See, you have to intentionally tell your time where it needs to go. And with reference to these three areas we need to work on, we want to work on, you have to fit them into your schedule. To do this, we recommend that you choose a time to focus specifically on these areas. Write it down, commit to it, and protect it. Don't let anyone or anything move it. And remember, out of all the things that you do, remember to treat yourself. Make sure you dedicate time to something that makes you laugh, makes you smile, something that takes off the stress, something that makes your heart beat faster, something that makes you feel alive. Point number three, reflect and review. How will you know if you're winning if you don't go back and check your progress? You won't. So set a time, set a place, set a date, put it on your calendar and make it happen. Analyze what went well, what didn't, and what needs to be rearranged. This can become one of the most insightful meetings you will ever have. Each day is a new beginning. You will have setbacks, but that is no excuse to let go and put on your goals. Each day you start fresh. It's not an excuse to drop the ball. It's a reminder that you're human. The sooner you begin to practice this in your life, the more successful and rewarding your life will be. So let's go out there and master our lives. And remember, be woke. This is great. So hey ho fam, we are so excited. <laughs> Although an incorrect term. We will focus on part one. Although an incorrect term of a way. Tense. Tense. The word is tense. Although an incorrect word. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be an interesting recording. Winning at three is better than falling at three. Goodbye. <laughs>